Despite the rigid rules of control, inmates push back. When officers' backs are turned, inmates gamble, run tattoos with makeshift equipment, and make homemade alcohol. Behind the lesser offenses, though, lies a greater danger. 120, 121, let's go. Homemade weapons are constantly fashioned. Currency sometimes slips by security, and cell phones are smuggled in. Weapons can be used in attacks. Cell phones can be used for escape attempts. And currency can be used to bribe officers. Getting caught with any of these items guarantees you a trip to the back of the prison to another tool of control for Hayes, the Special Management Unit, or SMU. These are the inmates that have proven to be a threat to other inmates, to themselves, or in some cases, a threat to the very order of the prison itself. Morgan Corley is in the SMU again. Corley might not have the appearance of a hardened criminal, but looks can be deceiving. No, I did it. <laughs> I did it to the fullest. Morgan Corley used to be a truck driver, but discovered he had a talent for selling drugs. Corley's hustle was ice, smokable methamphetamine. And what started as deals over a few ounces soon became pounds per week, making Corley one of the biggest meth dealers in Georgia. The money got so good and the power, you know, I just I started loving the lifestyle. I got caught up. Corley pled guilty to racketeering and is serving nine years inside. His life of crime, though, didn't stop with his conviction. He has been to 16 different prisons and amassed more than a dozen charges behind bars. I involved myself with people doing, you know, things that institution don't allow. Uh, I do a lot of drug trade and cell phone trade, you know, making money. Uh, I like to make money. Making money behind bars, a far-fetched thought requiring an elaborate network of people. I'll find a guy in the prison that, that, that's able to move, who's like a flat top orderly or works in the hole, who's able to go to every dorm, every building, you know, on, on the whole compound. And then I'll have him take it to where it's got to go. And then I have another guy who I have like a stash guy, maybe works in the kitchen, you know, I can hide it in the freezer, you know, where the dogs can't smell it or, you know, they never shake down. I'll have it hidden there, and as I need it, I'll have guys go to that guy and get it and take it to where it's got to go. And really, I'll just sit back and kind of direct what needs to happen. You know, I'm never going to get caught with nothing. You know, I got people that I have selling it, holding it, you, you know, taking care of that business for me. I never, I never put myself in that jeopardy. Corley fashioned himself as a chain gang godfather at the helm of a prison criminal enterprise. Now he claims his days of running drugs and cell phones have ended. But he's back in the hole again this time for possession of a $50 bill. With no cash allowed in prison, it's incriminating evidence of illegal activity. 